Mr. Height, your favorite scientist here, and I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about hydropower and how moving water uh, so far can be a source of energy and how we can convert that moving water energy into useful energy for us, uh, into electricity and also like mechanical en energy, uh, sort of like a water wheel, like, well, you're not supposed to run on a water wheel like these two guys. Um, really, the water's supposed to do the work and then all that good stuff. But uh, that's OK. They're getting a little extra exercise. Anyway, so I wanted to show you. You, you saw the video of the, the students making a water wheel. Can you make a water wheel? That's what we want you guys to do is can you make a functional water wheel using some very simple materials and also converting that water energy that moving water into um beneficial like being able to lift something or turn something um so i'm going to switch over to our camera here and see what materials we have here we go so here's some of the materials that I have. Um, I have a pencil, you know, a pencil, or you could use a rod, uh, depending what you have. And I have some string, and I have a paper clip, which I'm going to make into a hook for some washers. Is what we want our water wheel to do is actually um, lift some washers up and we want to convert that moving water energy into uh, energy that will work like mechanical energy that will actually lift up um, something that has weight which is very cool so then i have my washers my paper clip for my hook i have two styrofoam plates they don't have to be styrofoam you could also use paper plates but i have styrofoam um, for my wheel so this will be my wheel. And then I have some cups here. So some smaller, small plastic cups. You can use um, paper, little paper clip cups. Notice these are a lot smaller. Um, so you have the small variety, that's good. And I have six of these. So I want six of these smaller cups. And they could be a little smaller. This is what I had available, but you can also use um, some paper cups too. And I could decide, well, maybe I don't want to use cups. Maybe I want to use some spoons um, instead of cups, or even maybe a combination of spoons or uh, cups inside my wheel for the water to hit, as you saw in the video. So it's your engineering project. So it's based on what you think would work the best. And obviously, we want to put all these things together. So we want to use some tape. So I have some uh, duct tape here. Or you can use some masking tape, uh, whatever you have available. If you're doing this individually or if you're doing this with a partner or small group, you have all your materials. And notice very simple materials that you probably already have. Um, so what we want you do to do now that you know what the materials are, what would it look like? So we want you guys to design a picture of how you would assemble all these materials um, into a water wheel, working water wheel. So right now, that's what we want you to do is draw and label a, a design of your uh, water wheel. So we want you to do some thinking before you actually start uh, putting it together. So that's a lot of fun. That's what scientists do. They design things. Um, then they'll then we'll actually put it together and test it first. We want to make sure the prototype is working properly uh, in case we need to make any adjustments. Um, and that'll be the next day where you'll actually put it together, make sure it's working. There'll be some a few questions that you'll have to go through before you can then do a 
full test where you actually do some measurements, um, take some measurements of your water wheel. So this is our first step is just here's the materials and let's do some designing. So I know you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I know a lot of you had some fun making the windmills and things like that. So here's our next thing with the water wheel. All right, get to designing.